Hey guys, welcome back to Rudder Innovation, where today we're going to be changing the look of this fireplace by painting this old pitted brass fireplace screen. But whether you're doing something like a screen like this or fireplace doors like I've done previously, which I'll provide a link in the description, we'll learn how to change your appeal without breaking the bank. Here we go. To start this process, you're gonna use steel wool or something like a Brillo pad might be a little too coarse, but steel wool will help scratch up the surface of the fireplace screen. That way the paint will have something to stick to. You also wanna make sure and disassemble pieces. That way you're sure that the paint is coated everything the way it should be. And that way you have a nice even coat of paint. Just so you can kind of see the difference between the sheen we're not really working incredibly hard to scratch this thing up. We're just lightly rubbing the steel wool against it, which is making it more of a dull finish. And you can see that there's no real shine left on it. And so the difference between, you can see some of the scratches up there, but it should be looking kind of foggy like this instead of shiny. You'll continue to use your steel wool, Brillo pad, or 120 grit sandpaper to lightly scuff the surface to be painted. I didn't worry about scuffing up the screen portion since it was gonna be the same color I was painting it. All right, so here's my final piece of the three pieces of this screen. And what I'm experiencing is that when I use the steel wool, towards the bottom, for whatever reason, on every one, it almost becomes more of a polish and it stops scratching the surface. So I started using a 120 grit sandpaper just to scuff it up. So I'm gonna finish it off with that. All right, we got the doors done. Now it's time to sand all of these little pieces before you paint. Now that you have everything sanded down, you can use either an old shop cloth or compressed air to blow it off and make sure it's clean before you paint. To set up your painting area, you can use painter's plastic like I did, trash bags, or even a drop cloth, and attach it to your fence with a couple nails, screws, or staples. So I have everything prepped and ready to paint, and I have the underside of all my fittings turned up. That way I can paint those first, flip them over, because I don't care about what those look like. I'm just gonna get them black. No one's gonna really see them. But I'm gonna paint the underside first. Likewise, I'm gonna paint the back of the fireplace screen first, and then I'll flip it around once it's dry and we'll finish the finishing coat on the front side that everybody's gonna see. For this project, I'm gonna be using a Rust-Oleum product. Uh, this is the flat finish, and it's used for barbecue pits. There is a semi-gloss if you want a different sheen on it, but we're gonna use the flat for this project, so let's get started. To do the screen, it took me two cans of spray paint, and I made sure to evenly coat the screen portion because it had a little bit of rust towards the bottom, and I wanted it to have a uniform look. We started off with the Rust-Oleum flat finish, and now I'm gonna finish it off with the semi-gloss. Really didn't like the flat finish, and these are a little bit dressier, so this will dress it up a little bit, and it'll look better. As you're painting your screen, I'd recommend starting with it upside down and the back of the screen first. That way, if it's still tacky when you flip them over, those portions will have any visual blemishes from leaning against the plastic, and the top and front side will look the best though you won't have to worry about this if you wait for them to dry before flipping them over and recoating. When you're painting the screen, you'll want the can to be 12 to 16 inches away and apply several light coats as opposed to one heavy coat. This will help the paint adhere properly and give you the best finish. All right, now that we have everything painted, let's put it back together. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you like this video, like it. And if you're watching on a medium, you can subscribe. Feel free to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace, God bless.